Welcome to Text and Math. Today we're looking at item number 29. This item was missed by 66% of students in the state of Texas. So a very high number of students missed the item. Let's read it and take a look at it and discover what it is uh, they found confusing. It says here, the graph below shows the number of books sold at a book fair in five days. Uh, on the horizontal we have the days. And on the vertical, we have the number of books sold, and this is a bar graph. Let's look at the answer choices. Based on the graph, which statement is true? A, the number of books sold on day three was twice the number of books sold on day one. B, the number of books sold on day five was half the number of books sold on day two. C, the number of books sold on day five was about 93% of the number of books sold on day four. And D, the number of books sold on day one was about 12% of the number of books sold on day three. Okay. At first glance, if you look at this graph uh, and you do not pay close attention to the left side of the graph, you will see that on the left here, there is a large cutout from zero to 70. So, uh, the heights of these bars is not very representative of what values they represent. So to facilitate the students reading the bar graph, it's a good idea to go ahead and read off the numbers that are to the left and label each of the bars with uh, a number. So if we look at the first bar uh, and we start here at 70, and this is 80, you'll notice that if there are five equal spaces in between the 70 and the 80, that means they're counting by twos here, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78. So that first bar would be a 78. So to facilitate reading the bar graph, let's just label that bar with a 78. We'll go to the second bar and do the same. So if this is 80 and we're counting by twos, this is 82, 84. The third bar would be 82, 4, 6, 88. The fourth bar would be 82. And the last bar is 72, 74, 76. Now, once these numbers are here, when you read these statements, uh, you will notice uh, that the wrong answers will really jump out and some of the ones that were chosen a lot by the students you'll notice were, were easily spotted once those numbers are placed on the graph. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight a few of these numbers. A says the book sold on day three. So the book sold on day three was 88. I'm highlighting the 88 for day three. Was twice the number of books sold on day one. I'm going to choose a different color and highlight day one in that color. So day one, I'm going to highlight that in green. So now looking at that answer choice A, you can see the number of books sold on day three was 88. The number of books on day one was 78. That's clearly not twice the number. So this answer is incorrect. We'll cross that one out. I feel certain that if the students had had those numbers on the bar graph, they would not have chosen answer choice A. Let's look at answer choice B, the number of books sold on day five, choosing a different number now, different color. I'm going to highlight day five in yellow, and I'm going to highlight that number 76 in yellow. Day two, a different color, day two. Uh, is 84. It says on B the number of books sold on day 5 was half the number of the books sold on day 2. Well on day 5 we have 76 and on day 2 we have 84. Um, 76 is definitely not half the number of books. That doesn't make any sense. So answer choice B is incorrect. Okay, let's look at answer choice C. The number of books sold on day five, we've already highlighted that in yellow, so I'm going to highlight it in yellow again, was about 93% of the books sold on day four. It's the only one I haven't highlighted, so let me grab another color. 
So let's read. Day five was 76. Is that about 93% of the books sold on day four, which is 82? Well, maybe. But let's put a question mark on that one before we uh, select that one. And then we can come back and do that calculation to see if it truly is 93%. Answer choice D says the number of books sold on day one, I have that one highlighted in green, so I'm going to use green again, was about 12% of the number of books sold on day three, and day three was 88. Well, day one had 78 books, and day three was 88 books. Well, there's no way that's 12% because it's way over half the number of books. 50% would be half, so 12% is entirely too low, and I'm going to go ahead and label too low for that 12%, meaning D is incorrect. So the only answer out of the four that is reasonable is C. Now having said that, it may be a good idea, if your student has time, to do the actual calculation. So let's go ahead and do that now. Um, they really don't have to do it, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, the number of books sold on day five was about 93% of the books sold on day four. Well, if we want 93%, we can multiply the decimal 93 hundredths times uh, the number of books sold on day four, and that was an 82. And then we can multiply this out. Um, if we do that, I've actually already done this uh, calculation. And I've carried the decimal all the way through. This may not be something you want to introduce uh, at the last minute with your students, but it's something you may want to introduce when you teach multiplication of decimals. I actually talked them through, I would talk them through this multiplication. Two times three hundredths is six hundredths, instead of just putting a six there. And then two times 9 tenths is 1.8 or 1 and 8 tenths. So I have 1.80 and again I'm lining up my decimals as I add. And then when I go to this one, this is 8 hundredths times or 8 tenths or 8 times 3 hundredths and I'm getting 2 and 4 tenths or 2.40 and then 8 times 9 tenths is 72. Lining up the decimals adding gives me 76.26 and you'll notice here uh, with this problem that we want about, about means it's an estimation, so we're going to estimate and since we did get an answer 76.26 about 93 percent is correct. The answer choice C was the right answer to this problem.